Nay tay na sa podcast sa Me, na- naisip niyo ba na pumasok tayo minsan sa ano, sa like movie, gawa tayo ng movie, kahit mga short film lang. Ah! Self, self-produced. Oo. Why not? Why not? Sige, actually pwede Mas... na kasi magaling naman tayo umacting eh. Wow. Wow. Kanya-kanya talaga buhat ng bangko. Oh, oh. Pero anong gusto niyong storyline if ever gawa tayo ng short film? Ay, gusto ko oh, iyak-iyak. Gusto ko iyak-iyak. Yung parang, iyak. syempre lagi tayong tumatawa. Gusto ko yung mapapaiyak ko naman Ay, sila iba, ngayon. Iba tayo, iba tayo dito. Iba yung character natin. Oh, 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 Seryoso talaga. Oh, oh. Pakla pa yung role, pero yung... yung <laughs> yun ang hindi ko kaya ibahin. Ang hira. What if tomboy ako doon? <laughs> ano role mo? Ano role mo? Parang gusto ko maging ano, parang Bukinera. Ganun. Ah, Bukinera. Ah, Tapos kayo yung mga... Contesera. Ano, oh, glam team. Wow! Oh, oh, pwede, ah, pwede. Ginawa pa kami alalay lang. Oh, Tapos pa, ang, ang, ang ending kasi noon, ay hindi, ang ending, yung plot twist doon is mag-away-away tayo dahil sa isang lalaki. Ay! Nakakaloka. Parang gusto ko nang, alam ko na kung sino yung lalaki ang mag-away. Oh my God! Yung camera man lang. Yung yeah. yeah. <laughs> videographer pa lang. <laughs> Nakakapon. Uh-oh. Tapos mapapanood nila sa video nila. Yan yun. <laughs> Tapos yung, ano, yung away natin, sa'yo na yan. <laughs> sa'yo, sa'yo, sa'yo na yan. Sa'yo na yan. Yan pala yung pag-aaway. <laughs> Kasi yung, yung pinag-aawayan natin, straight curious. Curious. Hindi, <laughs> naririnig-rinig nyo ba yun? Yung mga straight curious. Yung mga... Bye. Mga bye. Yeah. Mga discreet. Versa, versa bottom. Oh. Minsan nga, pag naririnig ka pang bottom, natatawa pa sila eh. Yan yung hindi ko maintindihan sa community natin. Ako, to be honest ha, mas nadidiscriminate pa ako ng mga members ng LGBT compared sa mga straight. ba? Diba? Parang diba? ang ironic na you are part of the community and you are shaming those people na part ng community mo. Kasi fi- mm. <laughs> very very inter- uh, sure ko na sure. <laughs> <laughs> may wala pa tayong 5 minutes umiiyak ka na kasi <laughs> sure ko lang oh sure ko na yung ano ko yung experience yes. ko sa when it comes to yung toxic ano culture dito sa gay community uh-huh. kasi when i started before i parang naging regret ko siya in a way na nung before pa akong mag youtube youtube it was so easy for me to date pero nung nakikita na nila ako sa YouTube. Ah, na, nagkakapangalan ka na. Nagkakapangalan na ako. Uh-huh. Nakikita nila na I wear fake boobs, uh-huh. nagkubig ako. Parang okay yung usap namin yung umpisa tapos bigyan lang sabihin sa akin na ay nakita ko yung ano mo. Nakita ko yung video mo. Nagaganyan ka pala. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, parang parang ano, if you're gonna be reading between the lines, it feels like there's an insult. Oo. Oh, 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 uh-huh. Parang uh, nasashame ako in a way because I was acting flamboyant. Ano yung girl, flamboyant? Flamboyant. flamboyant. F. Eh, hindi naman, eh, eh, hindi namin kailangan ng spelling. Ayun. Pero ano yung flamboyant? Parang siyang um, effeminate. Okay. Girly, malambot. Malambot. Ah, okay. okay. So, okay. Parang syempre, in character ako eh. So, alam nga namang lalaki ako kumilos. Eh, may, may boobs ako, di ba? And then pumatok naman din si Fedra. Yes. So, Totoo. parang, but in a way, it really affected my personal life when it comes to dating. Mm-hmm. Kasi parang, ginudge nila ako based sa nakikita nila. When, in reality, there's nothing wrong if you're that type of person. So wears, what? Oh, so what? Uh-uh. But dun, I, I, that's one of my naging parang for me, regret ko siya before. But na, no, not anymore. Ik- ikaw, Shardy, did you ever feel na you were discriminated sa sarili mong community? Oh, experience. Ilang beses na yan, especially if I post a selfie or picture sa Instagram. Mm-hmm. Tapos sinasabi, ah, tigas sa pero ang lambot naman in person. What's wrong? What's wrong be- with being comfortable in my own skin? Bakit mm-hmm. kailangan mong, bakit kailangan mong ikumpara? Mm-hmm. Of course, picture yan. Gusto mo mag-post ako ng naka-ano, naka-ganyan. Naka di ba? And there's nothing wrong, sabi mo nga, there's nothing wrong with being effeminate. That's just me. If you don't like it, then bakit kaila? Ang nangyayari kasi, magiging matapang na ako to say this, most of the discrimination, these kind of discrimination are those that are from the masculine side. Uh-oh. To be ju- just masculine to be Masculine side of the LGBTQIA+. LGBT, yung mga oh, mask oh. na tinatawag nila. Oo, oh, yung mga mask na sinasabi nila. Mali. Yung parang, it feels like ano, merong superiority. Oo, oh, oh, uh, may superiority complex. Kaya nga, na-mention ko na to, kaya nga yung rainbow, yung ating symbol, because we represent different kinds of the LGBT community. Doon kami sa, kung doon kami sa medyo feminine, doon kami sa medyo soft, eh ano ngayon? I think, ka, 
kaakibat na din doon yung pagiging bottom. Yung pag nalaman nilang bottom ka, sinasabi, yaks, bottom. Sinasabi, ay, ang tigas-tigas mo sa picture pero bottom ka naman. Oh, eh, ano naman? Eh, kung wala nga kaming bottom, wala rin kayong top. Oh, oh. So, inamin mo na bottom ka din. Sila. <laughs> <laughs> si, uh, ano? Ah, ikaw, me. Top or bottom? Ah, top or bottom? Ay, totoo, me. Huwag ka tayong maglokohan ano? dito. Ano? Versa um, top. Minsan, top. Minsan, me. bottom. Me. <laughs> me. Me, pure side. <laughs> side lang, no, me. Puro siya spooning. Ah, siya, ano? <laughs> top talaga. Top. Sorry. <laughs> hindi, <laughs> nagtatap ako kasi ako yung gumigilin. Ah, <laughs> hindi, ito question ko. Ah, ah, ah. Is it offensive being as if you're top or bottom? No. Pero it's offensive when you say, ay, bottom. Yun. Oh, yun, 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 nag- yun do- nagiging do- offensive for me. Hindi naman sinasume when they learn that you are a bottom. Ah, and then they have that kind of reaction. Kaya nga minsan, I think for some people, to be safe, pag tinatanong top ka ba or bottom, they say versa. Mm. Ayaw na lang nila sabihin yung preference nila because pag sinabi mong bottom, nadidiscriminate ka, yaks, bottom, ay bottom. Kaya nga may tinatawag tayong bottom shaming, which mm. I really cannot understand. Kasi nga sabi ni Warren, walang top kung walang magbobottom. Mm-mm. Tapos, pero hindi namin sinabing kami yung bottom. Uh, well, ako sasabihin ko na talaga ako yun. <laughs> ano nga naman ako, di ba? <laughs> yung top. <laughs> kaya nga meron sa ano, di ba? Yung meron yan sa grinder. Let's say, for example, no to effeminate, Ay, oh. no to mahalata. Uh-huh. I understand preference mo yan, pero wag mo sana gamitin yan to discriminate some other gays just because yan yung preference mo. Uh-huh. That's your preference? Okay, keep it to yourself. Pero do not shame someone because he or she is not your type. I agree. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Parang kaakibat niyan yung ano eh, yung fem shaming din eh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I agree, uh-huh. the fem shaming. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Pero ha, the, when you say fem, that doesn't necessarily mean that you are both. Mahaba yun. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. Yun ang nakakaloka uh-huh. doon. Minsan kasi, Um, merong, may, we also have this what we call dominant and submissive. Mm-hmm. So when you say dominant and submissive, the dominant doesn't necessarily mean that you are the top. Yes. And vice versa. You can be dominant and bottom at the same time. And some people couldn't understand that. Just because um, malambot ka, let's say, tapos sinabi mong top ka, ayaw nila maniwala. Ako like, me. Ano na ako lagi? And I don't care. Uh, uh, uh. Ang, asu- ang assumption lagi sa akin ng tao, bottom yan. Mm-mm, bottom mm-mm. yan. I don't care. Uh, 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 uh. Kung tingin nyo bottom ako, doesn't matter. Hindi nyo naman malalaman hanggang makasama nyo ako sa... Wow! <laughs> <laughs> yun, yun lagi sa akin ha. Yun lagi sa akin. Parang I really don't care if you think of me as a bottom o uh, ano. Pero sa totoo to- 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 lang, when you say you don't care, parang... Hindi naman talaga as a human being, hindi may iwasan na you have initial response or initial thinking na ay baka bottom siya, ay baka top siya. But the way how you, you, you react, insert yeah. that and you react mm-hmm. that and use that as an insult, yeah. that's when it's making it wrong. Mm-hmm. Very toxic. Na ano. mm-hmm. yeah, nagiging, doon siya nagiging ano, toxic. Ah, meron pa isa, Mi. Pag sinabing um, bye... Uh-oh. Pag sinabing bye, tapos mm. ang lambot-lambot, pangungunahan mm. ka pa ng mga impacta. Hindi, <laughs> manimig ka, bakla ka. True, true, true. Girl, ano? True. Wet mo ba to? <laughs> Hindi, ang nakakaano lang doon kasi kaya nga LGBTQIA++++. Diba? So may bigot. Very sunscreen yung atake ni, diba? no? SPF 50. <laughs> PA++++. So, plus plus plus. Meron, meron doong B for bisexual. bisexual. Oo, so pag inalis mo yung B, mm. eh, hindi na who LGBT yun. Ah, ah, tata, Kaya parang ah. let's not, ano naman, discredit na merong, there are people talaga who are bisexual mm-hmm. na talagang nagkakagusto pa rin sa opposite mm-hmm. gender. Mm-hmm. Kasi nga, may binibase nila yan sa kilos ng isang tao. Mm-hmm. If they feel like someone is acting softly, mm-hmm. you cannot be bi. Dapat mm-hmm. bakla ka lang. Kinakategorize kasi ng mga tao yun ni. Eh. At saka sinasabi nila mm-hmm. may ano daw, it's a bridge to gayhood. Ah, Parang daan lang, daan lang <laughs> daw yan. Na. Ginagamit mo oh. lang. Well, I think kagamitin ko naman yung kaakibat, di ba? Oh, kaakibat. Kasi nga, I think there is a negative connotation to say na bakla ka. So para maging uh, safe sila, sinasabi na lang nila ay, na bye. Bye ako. ako. Yun, yun diba? yung nangyayari kahit minsan sa G Diary, sa grinder. <laughs> Lagi na lang sinasabi na bye, keme, keme. Tapos pag tingin mo ang lambot. Mm-mm. Minsan ma... Mi, mi, Yes, kahit ako, not that I'm trying to discriminate, pero na, na, na-observe ko na probably the reason why they are using the word bi, it is because if they probably use the word gay or if they identify themselves as gay, that is when they are going to be more discriminated compared to when they just simply bi. 
simply um, identify themselves as bi. Kasi pag sinabing bi, parang at the back of the mind of the people, ah, uh, umaano pa siya, um, pwede pa siya sa girl. So may yes. chance pa siya, keme-keme, pero pag gay ka na, Wala parang, na. parang may feels pa minsan na mas mababa ka eh. Mm. Parang may mga ganun. Not that people verbalized it, but that's how some people actually feel it. Yes. Parang parang nadidiscriminate yung bi versus gay. Correct. Ano nga Tagalog ng bi? Ay, nako, bi. <laughs> bi, bi means sexual. two. Bi means two. Okay. Which means that you can be attracted to two genders. Correct. Which are ma- uh, male or female. Okay. Iba naman yung pansexual. Pansexual so, so is for everyone. Si Lahis. Ah, ganun ba yun? Tama. Ang pansexual? Pansexu- uh, pansexual. You can fall in love with anyone. Pan- pansexual, you can be attracted to male, female, and other LGBTQIA plus community. Mm, okay. Sa ano kasi sa bi, kasi nga, hence, bi dalawa. means two. Dalawa lang. So, dalawa uh, lang. Mi question ko sa ikaw, what was the worst na discrimination na naramdaman mo sa sarili nating community? Ayun, um, actually, usually sa mga post ko, may mga nakocomment talaga na members ng LGBT na sinasabi na talaga na, oh, you're so hard pa rin. Yung parang yung features ng mukha mo, yung features mm-hmm. ng katawan mo, matigas pang lalaki pa rin, pa rin matigas uh. pa rin. Ano, yung mga ganung comment, and then, if you will review yung mga ano, mm-hmm. <laughs> yung profile nila, ay, wait lang, um, parang member din to ng LGBT community pero parang ano parang nakakaano lang din nakakalungkot Uh-oh. ano isa sa kanila pa nanggagaling eh, nanggagaling sa kanila tapos ano yung parang hindi din titigil yung iba mm-hmm. like kahit hindi mo nire-reply yan may, may isa talaga kung ano na yun din parang na post na oh, napikon talaga ako na post sumagot ka oo oh, oh, sumagot ako kasi first na action ko talaga is uh, I sent DM like nag personal message ako sa kanya so ano po problema natin sa ano sa post ko that, that time kasi Sabi mo, ganito, ganyan, ganyan. So, hindi naman siguro lahat talaga ng transgender or trans woman, agad-agad magiging ganun kasos. Uh-huh. Kasi, um, sin-explain ko pa nga na bago lang ako nag-transition, uh-huh. ito lang yung tinitake ko na hormones kasi ayaw ko din mabugbog talaga ng mga injections and hormones or pills. Uh-huh. And then, yun. Kasi it takes time din talaga, di ba? Yes, so, and then, ano, kung ito na tagal, talaga yung feature ko, sabi ko din sa kanya, I really accept it as long uh-huh. as I'm happy at the, uh-huh. as a result. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, I feel, I feel na beautiful pa rin ako kahit gano'n oh. yung features ko. Parang oh. gano'n, you don't need to shame or you don't need to post it negatively sa mm. social media na mababasa ng mga tao kasi, ano, ang ending din kasi noon is siya rin ang nabash actually. Ah, talaga? Siya din ang nabash. Kasi yung Do mga followers, o, siya yung inatake. Kaya yun yung naging worry ko. Baka mas lumaki siya pa yung maano, ma-depress. <laughs> siya rin. Mm-hmm. So, hindi siya tumigil be. Kahit ah, gano'n yung nangyari. Nakapagsagutan siya? Oo, oo. So, hindi siya nag-reply sa PM ko sa DM ko. Ang ginawa niya, nag-reply, nag-reply pa rin siya sa mga post ko na video ah, pinapatulan sa niya. Facebook page. So, yes. hindi lang isang post ang pinatulan uh-huh. niya. So, ang ginawa ko, in screenshot ko lahat ng mga comments niya. Tapos, pinost ko. Okay. Oo. Tapos, sabi ko nga doon sa post ko na, um, I might del- delete this if mm-hmm. um, titigil ka talaga sa pinagagawa mo. So, mm-hmm. ang ginawa niya, he blocked me. Ah, okay. So, that's the time na nag-stop talaga yung pagko-comment or pagre-reply niya mm. sa mga videos ko. So, so dinilit ko naman so yung post. Siya pa yung sa'yo, no? Siya so, pa nag-block mm-hmm, sa'yo, B. Ah. Pero at least, I was able to call him out. Kasi uh-huh. nga, parang ano din eh, pa- parang uh, warning din yun sa iba na it's uh-huh. not really good to like just post negatively. Ang uh-huh. nakakaloka kasi minsan, just because you have different gender expression. That doesn't mean that you should also apply that to someone. Mm-hmm. Kat- kat- katulad na lang nung um, example ko nung previous um, episode natin na parang tayong dalawa, we can both identify ourselves as trans. Transgens, uh-huh. Okay, but the way how we express our gender, which is gender expression, that could be different. Mm-hmm. And that's not something that you can show into someone just because that's what you are. Mm-hmm. So sexual in um, orientation, sabi dito sa, <laughs> sabi, <laughs> sabi dito sa, <laughs> how you identify is yourself. How you identify yourself. Mm-hmm. Do you identify yourself as gay, as transgender, or as alien. bi, or? <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I identify it. But the way how I would like to express myself, that's what you call gender expression. expression. So I can identify myself as a woman, even that. But this is how I express my gender. And that's okay. Mm-hmm. That is one of the things that Soji Bill is trying to impose to us. Mm-hmm. Um, na and, hindi, pa, hindi pa gustong tanggapin ng mga tao. Ng, ng yes. ibang tao. Yeah, <laughs> ng ibang tao. Kasi at 
I mean, to be fair din naman, ha? Mm-hmm. Yes, a majority of our country is Catholic and religion and all that stuff. But, um, nakakatulad na sinabi mo, Mina, may mga companies na, even sa schools, nakita ko merong isang transgender na teacher, which is nakakahappy. Yeah. Tapos, yung mga uniforms ng ibang colleges, ng colleges yes. even high they schools, allow. they allow um, the students to express themselves the way how mm-hmm. identify themselves. Which is nakaka-happy because at least there are changes. Yes. Correct. Ang nakakasad lang kasi talaga is um, ju- yung iba na hindi pa nakakapag-adjust with these changes, they use those things na nakasanaya nila as an insult. Toto. Alam mo, share ko lang, um, during my time, nung nagka-college ako, may mga kabats ako na hindi pumasok sa gantong college because they didn't want to wear like skirt uh, o ganun. So now, I really appreciate itong mga school na to, yung mga universities na to, who are trying to apply these changes Tada. na na sana hindi maapektohan yung edukasyon ng isang tao just because they cannot express themselves. Mm. Ganun. And ano ha, actually, nung sa experience ko rin sa, ano, nung college ako, mm. kasi nga, um, sa, yung, hindi ko na lang may mention pa, pero yung sa university kasi na, university, wow. uh, hindi, strict talaga sila when it comes to <laughs> yung parang sa uniform yeah. and everything. So, kailangan talaga yung mga akla, naka-polo, mm-hmm. naka-white polo, and then naka-slaps. Uh, mm-hmm. So, if you are biologically oh, male, male talaga, uh, so dapat yun yung suot mo. So, ang ano, parang actually, I'm so very happy that time kasi they gave consideration to me. Ah, talaga? Oo, I'm the first transgender na nag-graduate in that specific school na mataas ang buhok. Tapos mm-hmm. babaihan ng peg. Uh-huh. Yes. Kasi hindi ako nag-uniform like pang babae talaga na nagpalda and everything. But mm-hmm. my uniform na polo is fit talaga pang babae. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Pero nakaslaks pa rin ako na fit. And then my hair is ano lang. Mataas siya pero tinatali. Uh-huh. After yun, nasundan pa ba? Yes. And that's ah, good. Talaga. We should uh-huh. mention the you school. You opened the door. Huh? We should be thankful na at least sila, uh-huh. hindi sila discriminatory. Uh-huh. Pero it also depends with the, ano, ha, with the course. Kasi minsan kasi talaga may curriculum na mm. they don't want yung mga transgenders na mag-cross-dress talaga mm. inside the school premises. Uh, specifically the um, ano yung education. Um, kasi iniisip ko yan eh. Parang syempre, itong, itong mga gender, mga sexual orientation, mm-hmm. gender expression. Mm-hmm. For me, parang nito na lang din siya naging mas open eh. Mm-hmm. Kahit sa atin, even us who are part of this community, ngayon lang din ako halos talagang, alam mo yon yung parang nalinawan sa lahat. Yes. And now, if people who are not malinaw yet with with these changes that I'm talking about, um, tapos nagkakaroon tayo ng um, negative reaction if they did not, um, you know, respect these changes. Are we being too sensitive about it? Or they are just being too insensitive about it? Like what you said earlier, it really depends on how you take it. Oh yeah. Uh-uh. Um, because there are people who are sensitive. There are people, naman, na parang they can easily grasp information. So, parang it's subjective. Eh. The question is very subjective. Depende parang yung sa tao Mm-mm. how Mm-mm. they're going to take it. Mm-mm. Pero again, the reason why we see more of it is because mas laganap in social media ngayon, and we see people expressing themselves, which is not a bad thing. It's just that sometimes napapasobra. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Na parang yung maliliit na issue na papalaki. But mm-mm. then again, subjective pa rin yung issue na yan kasi baka naman talagang alam mo yun, may pinanggagalingan sila why why they're reacting nila. like Oo, that. Yes, uh-huh. exactly. Uh-huh. Totoo naman. Kakaroon ng stereotype sa within the community. Kasi parang eto ha, kasi walang ibang makakaintindi sa community natin. Kundi tayo. But din. tayo din. Uh-huh. Kasi alam natin kung how how it works, mm-hmm. how we should identify ourselves, how we should um, express ourselves. Mm-hmm. But the reason why, uh, but the, the thing is, we all have different ways on how we express our gender. And sometimes we try to 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 impose that to someone who has the same sexual orientation. <laughs> Kaya Sorry. natin dyan. Na, napagbabalik na ko. Who has the same sexual orientation but different gender expression. So, yun yung nakakaloka doon. Like, minsan na lang katulad ng mga femmes. Na mga femmes. Kapag sobrang feminine ka. Hindi ka pwede maging top. 
hindi ka pwedeng maging mm. top yung mga ganyang eksena. Mm. So, Saka, pwede pa ako? Pwede pa, me. Pwede, pwede, pwede. <laughs> or, pwede. Just, just being a feminine, a, uh, a, uh, um, uh, efem, anong tawag doon? Efeminate. 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 Mm. Efeminate na gay. Oh, ano naman? Uh, what's wrong about being malambot? What's mm-hmm. wrong being about, um, mapilantik ang mga kamay ng keme-keme? Bakit parang iba yung tingin nyo sa mga, mga malalambot na bakla Mm-mm. na mga gays and stuff like that. I think nagsa-start din yun, like pagdating naman sa matatanda. Y- your gender expression is pang lalaki pa rin. Pero na- la- nakikita ka nilang lumalaban sa mga uh, gay pageant, mm. yung mga miss gay. Ang nangyayari, ito ha, this is, nadidiscriminate ka ng mga kalahi mo pa. Kasi nga, ay yan, paano yan, pa, pa, paastig yan, pa men yan, pero sumasali yan ng miss gay. Mm-mm. Uh, ang ibig ko lang kasing sabihin dito, na-mention mo eh, it's just very hard to accept na those members of the LGBTQIA plus community na sana yun yung nakakaintindi sa'yo, sila pa mismo yung nag-stereotype sa'yo. Sila pa mismo yung nag-discriminate sa'yo just because how you express yourself is different from what they express themselves. I agree. Diba? Mm-mm-mm. Another one is, let's say for example, may nakita kang ano, may nakita ka, may kaibigan ka na hindi masyadong expressive and all. Ang nangyayari, ina-out nila sa isa, iba nilang mga kaibigan. Let's mm-hmm. say for example, ay, napaka ano yan, napaka, napaka malambot niyan in person. Ay, feeling ko, alam mo, bakla yan siya. Naranasan mo Without, yan, Mi? Oo. Na-i-out ka? Oo. Especially when I was still trying to prove na hindi, na hindi ako bakla. Oh. Though I know to myself, I am gay. Pero I just feel like, bakit mo ko pinangungunahan? Mm-hmm. I am still trying to figure things out. I just hope na you will allow me, you will allow my timeline, you will allow me to finish what I am trying to figure out Mm-mm. before you even out me in public. That is so wrong, outing mm-hmm. someone. Huwag niyo silang pangunahan. Huwag niyo silang i-out. Kasi somehow traumatic yung ganun eh. Kasi minsan hindi pa sila ready. Minsan, kumbaga, They're still trying to figure out sa true, 'di ba? Kung ano mm-hmm. ba talaga. Minsan nga hindi sure, eh. so who are you para pangunahan sila para i-out sila sa ibang tao na ipaklayan. Diba? May experience ako niyan. Mm, me, ano 'yun? Me camping sa church. Okay. Like um we have this activity. That was my first and last camping ever. Mm-hmm. Kasi ayoko na. Parang, so it happened to you personally? It happened okay. to me personally. Parang nagkaroon kami ng activity noon. Um, question, parang may, may ano eh, ano tawag doon? Spin, Spin the battle. battle. Okay. Ang dami namin, like mga around 50 kami mm-hmm. na mga youth. Mm-hmm. Talagang mga teenagers back then. Tapos, um, sa akin natapat yung battle. Um, usually mga question nila, like, crush mo ba si ganyan, ganyan, mm-hmm. ganyan. Nung ako na, tinanong ako ng isa doon, bakla ka ba? Parang I don't even sobrang, know how to answer that. Kasi, doon sa camping na yon nandun yung tito ko, mm-hmm. nandun yung pinsan ko, nandun halos yung buong church. Tapos tatanungin mo ako ng bakla ka ba? How did you respond? I said no. Mm, no. No. Kasi back then, same with Charlie. I, I was trying to, to be a straight Mm-mm. one. Mm-hmm. Kasi parang sabi, kasi yun yung nakasanayan ko yeah. eh. Yun yung nakalakhan ko. That being gay is wrong. You have mm-hmm. to change. Kailangan mo magkaanak. Same, same old, Especially same Especially nasa church ka pa. Especially nasa church ako. Kaya alam mo nun, simula nun, talagang hindi na ako sumama ng, ano, ng camping. Kahit anong pilit nila, hindi talaga ako mm-hmm. sumasama. So I think it's important that we put it out there, especially sa mga straight nating nanonood or nakafollow sa podcast, na sometimes, or most of the time, or you know what, just don't ask kung bakla ba yung isang tao. Just don't. Especially if, especially if hindi naman kayo close. Mm-mm. May isa kong kaibigan before na ayaw pang mag-out. So yeah. tapos, mayroon din siyang another circle of friends na... Wait, girl to boy? A boy. Okay. Yes. And then tapos, uh, meron siyang circle of friends na pinipilit siyang parang mag-umamin mm-hmm. na bakla ka. Ganun, ganun. So, since he ayaw pa nga niyang umamin or mag-out talaga, parang iniiwasan siya ng mga friendship. So, hindi siya sinasali sa mga gala. Mm-hmm. Tapos, OMG. Yung, may iba silang GC. May mga ganun. Ay. So, it came to the point na kinausap niya ako. So, what's my problem? Ay, ano bang problema na sa akin kung ayaw ko pang mag-out? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm gay. Pero ayaw ko pa kasing sabihin sa kanila kasi merong mga street, merong ano, sa ano din. Hindi pa siya uh, ready. Din, uh-huh. din siya. May LGBT, may ganun-ganun. Pero ayaw niya kasi yung ano, parang baka kasi yung reaction if 
uh, parang takot pa siya sa magiging reaction or consequence if mag-out siya. Baka mag- magsialisan talaga lahat. Kasi Be- nga, nung hindi pa siya nag-out, I- iniiwasan na siya. Uh-oh. Ipano na lang. If What nag-out more? Na nag-out pa siya. Yun. It, it really is scary. Yun, nandun ka sa gray area. Pero I just want you to know, no, para sa mga straight na lalaki dyan, na natatakot dun sa mga feeling nila bakla. Hindi naman po, kit bakla, chuchu pa yung ka na agad yun. <laughs> Papatulan diba? ka na agad, no? Oo, oh, oh, parang hindi naman ho tayo ganun. Parang gusto ko lang hong isip. May tehis pa rin kami. <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, hindi, not, it's not all the time na porkit feeling nyo bakla yung tao na yan. E feeling nyo, Bumulis may gusto, na, may gusto uh-uh. na agad sa'yo and may gagawin sa'yo. And I'm so thankful, ha? I'm so thankful kasi even though I grew up in a very straight community, even though all my friends are straight, they never made me feel that way. Parang, hindi ko naramdaman na since nasa frat kami, alam, may hint na sila na bakla ako. Hindi sila yung umaalis pag magbibihis. Mm. Nagsisiyar kami ng sabay-sabay. It's mm-hmm. because I always tell them na, tang ina ka ba? Hindi kita chuchupain kago. <laughs> Parang hindi uh-huh. kita gaganunin. Parang, <laughs> Mm-mm, I never mm-mm. felt that way. I'm lucky, but not everyone. Hindi ganun ang uh, situation. Mm-hmm. Hindi ganun. Mm-hmm. It's really depend with the, your circle that mm-hmm. you choose. Eh. Mm-hmm. Hindi, hindi po porket siyempre sinabing you're gay or part of the community. Dapat piliin mong circle is also part of it. Yes. What you would need to find are those people who will respect you for you being who you are. Mm-hmm. I think that's also the reason kung bakit medyo pili tayo sa pakikipagkaibigan sa member ng community. Mm-hmm. Kasi aside from the discrimination within the community, mm-hmm. aminin na natin. just ko, sa community natin, may pag nalaman nilang may kadi ka. I have experienced this one sa Cebu. Ilang beses na to na may kadata ko and all. Pinakilala ko sa mga kaibigan kong baklaren. Mm. Baklaren. Mm. Pagka uwi ko ng bahay, pag check ko ng Facebook nung dinate ko, naging mutual na. <laughs> Grab yung <laughs> ahasan me within the community. Can we just put, I want to put I, it out there. The, after Grab again, yung again. ahasan within the community. Alam mo yung hala. Agad-agad. Agad-agad. Diyos ko, pinakilala pa lang kita kanina as friends. Ang nangyayari ngayon, ang bilis mag-mutual. <laughs> Ako, may may gusto na ko yung share. At tapos, eh, yung okay. ex niya, no? naging ex niya, no? naging ex niya, no? naging ex niya. No? Oo. Oh, oh. oh, oh. may, may gusto na ko yung share. Ganun din. Kasi ako, I don't have a lot of gay friends. As in, wala talaga. Mm-hmm. Puro straight. straight kasi yung mga friends mo. Mm-hmm. Shit. Puro straight talaga. <laughs> Mal- Malakas kami yung minam eh. So anyway, I have this one gay friend that I really, really treasured. Mm-hmm. Sobra yung tiwala ko sa kanya because mm-hmm. I don't have a lot of gay friends. So I treat I treated him as a brother mm-hmm. with my life. Mm-hmm. And then back in 2017, yung ex, my ex and I were drifting apart already. Mm. So I I kept talking to my friends. Sabi ko, I don't know what to do anymore. Ganyan, mm. ganyan. Mm. And then it so happened that this, yung ex ko went to this club mm. na part owner siya. Mm. And tinext niya ako, nandito yung ex mo. Mm. Sabi niya, do you want me to talk to him? Mm. Sabi ko, no na, kasi hindi, mo naman, hindi ko naman siya na-introduce sa'yo. Mm. So, nagulat na lang ako. Kasi nung time na yon nagmamakaawa pa ako sa ex ko na, let's try to fix mm-hmm. this. Ganun. Mm-hmm. So, pinuntahan ko siya. Nagulat na lang ako. Magkasama na sila. Oh, garay! Magkasama na sila. Oh, And then, yung friend ko added him sa Facebook. Tapos, pinaflirt na pala siya. And then, made up a story that I was cheating on him. My Nabalik ex. Tan. Oo, oh na God. I was cheating on my ex. Sabi ko, <clears throat> what? Why would you tell him that? Nagulat na lang ako na gusto niya pala yung ex ko. Sabi ko, Huy, teka muna, mag- tayo yung magkaibigan dito. I should matter more. Mm-hmm. And this guy, yung ex ko, cheated on me. Yet, mm-hmm. ikaw, Pinagpali. you know the story. Oo, oh, oh, na parang, ano nangyari dito? Tapos nung nalaman ng ex ko, na mm-hmm. friend ko pala yun, mm-hmm. nagalit sa akin kasi pinapaing ko daw. Sabi mm-hmm. ko, no, no, hindi ko nga alam na kinausap ka na parang. Mm-hmm. So doon ako nagalit, nagaling, mas, mas sumama yung loob ko dun sa friend ko. Kasi, mm-hmm. Uchan tangin natin magkakilala tas because of one guy. Mm. I know y- y- yung naging collateral pa yung friendship mm, niyo, di ba? What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> I have a similar experience. Though hindi ko naman siya ex, yung nangyari kasi kaya mas marami akong straight friends compared sa ano, oh. mga gay friends. Kasi nga because we experience something that that's very negative and that we have learned something oh. from. Ang nangyari naman sa akin, Mi, um, meron akong crush. Mm-hmm. I have a crush. Mm-hmm. Tapos yung friend ko, sinibigyan ko siya na, huy, alam mo, crush ko to and all. Parang ang dami niya pang sina- sina- sinasabi. Sabi, huy, wag yan, wag yan and all that. How many weeks after, nalaman ko na lang sila na. Ay, tere. Diba? Parang wala na ba ibang tite? 
Oo, parang ang daming ang choices. Oo. Oh, oh. Hindi lang hindi ko maintindihan. Of all the people. Oo, oh, oh, hindi yun ang hindi ko maintindihan minsan. Bakit bakit tayo nang gaagawan sa titi? Ang dami ko talaga. <laughs> And yun yung napansin ko ngayon eh. Ako, sino pa yung pushing or sino pa yung mahilig mang reto sa'yo? Yun pala yung gusto may nila. Gusto oh, na, ng, uh, 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 nila. We're not generalizing ha. Uh, It's just that ito yung experience natin. Correct. Na parang, hindi ko, may hindi ko talaga nagigets yun minsan. Ano, yung maglalakad ka lang tapos pinaghahawakan ng pet mo. Ah, ah, ah. Ano ako sa ganun? Hindi ako natutuwa. Mm-hmm. Parang, I, na, I feel na nababasok. Sexually ako. harassed. Oo. Oh, oh. Pero parang, feeling ko pumapasok din dito yung, yung toxic thing. Kasi parang for them, ganun, okay. okay lang. Mm-hmm. Okay lang kasi mawawala sa atin. Oo. Oh, oh. Pag ginaganun yung pet mo mm-hmm. na, I, I don't feel comfortable. Objectifying na yan eh. Yes. Oo, yung mga ganyan. Tapos pag, let's say for example, nalaman nilang bottom ka. Mm-hmm. Yung parang, you, parang ginagawa kang stuff to eh, kumbaga. Like, okay lang yan, bottom naman niya si Chardy. Tapos, ang nangyari, parang pinagpapasapasahan ka pa sa mga kakilala niyang mm-hmm. top and all that. Nangyayari yan sa LGBT community. Another thing that I would like to ask is, eto medyo, this one is very controversial. Mm-hmm. Ito naman, this is not from the same uh, community, uh, the, uh, yung discrimination from the same community, but I'm gonna ask your thought about it. Ano yung masasabi nyo sa mga member ng community na nagkakot call sa mga straight naman, like 150? Ganon. Nababastusan ako. Ako rin. Nababastusan ako. Sobra. At hindi, hindi, we're not gonna be glorifying that. Mm-hmm. Again, we've been asking, we've been begging people for us to be treated fairly, for us to be treated respect. But what are we doing in something in return? I mean, hindi ko naman sinasabi na lahat, ha? Pero... Merong ganyan eh. At nakikita pa rin natin. Oo, until diba, now it's happening. 150, 150. <clears throat> Oo. Parang, you were begging for respect, pero uh-oh. ikaw, you can't give one. And ngayon, parang <clears throat> nagiging ano na rin siya, habit ng mga, let's for example, mga kabataan. If ever they will see a ano, member of LGBT community, mm-hmm. yun, sila na mismo, 150. Oh, uh, ang ending ngayon, itong mga kabataan na to, akala lahat ng bakla, eh 150. Nahihinga ng pera. Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. Hindi naman 150 eh. Oh. <laughs> 170 bigay mo. <laughs> 170. Yun na nga, parang ano lang, parang nakaka-offend din minsan. I mean, yun na sabi mo, di ba? We are asking for respect, pero sa atin mismo, sa community mm-hmm. natin, parang hindi natin pinapakita sa kanila kung paano uh. tapat tayo i-respect. Kasi nga, yung pagka-cut call pa lang na, ano, dun tayo pero, sa mga keme or Kasi for me, ha, yeah. hindi talaga, it's not really about your sexual orientation eh. Kung ganyan kang tao, kung bastos kang tao, bastos, bastos ka kang talaga, tao. Oh. It has nothing to do with that. sexual orientation me. It's not really about how you, ano, how you express yourself. Mm-hmm. It's really about the kind of person that you are. If you are properly educated, if you were raised well by your family, mm-hmm. kahit pa straight ka, kahit pa bakla ka, kung meron kang respeto sa isang tao, meron kang respeto. Mm-hmm. Kaya ang nangyayari, Uh, dahil ginagawa yan ng ibang mga bakla sa ibang mga straight, ang nangyayari, lahat na dadamay. Oo nga eh. Oo, diba? Nakita ko nga yung interview dati, GMA, I don't know. May, may in-interview si Mother Ricky Reyes. Na parang sa Shimmer, Mother Ricky is really part of the LGBTQIA plus mm-hmm. community. But, um, pinag-uusapan nila about respect. Um, sabi niya, yung ibang ang transgender dyan, gusto nila ng respect, pero ang hilig-hilig naman magpakita ng pek-pek sa mga kaibigan nila ng mga ganyan 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 ganyan. Syempre, ano mag-iisipin ng mga kaibigan nila? Mm-hmm. I mean, not you of course. Hindi ah, okay. ko pa naman nakita. Can you show to us? Gusto niyo makita yung tentacles with the mirror? <laughs> <laughs> naging ano, naging show and tell. <laughs> Oo, 'di ba? I mean, it, again, it's really how you also act. Mm-hmm. Like if kung gusto mong i-respect ka, bakit ka magpapakita ng mga ganyan ganyan? Mm-hmm. Ginagawa mong katatawanan yung mga bagay that's not even supposed to be funny in the first place. Uh, Kaya nagiging ending, nagiging katawa-tawa, not just you, but also the people who are like you, who mm-hmm. are within the community, nadadama yung other community. Nagkakaroon ng connotation about it. Mm-hmm. Since we are talking about um, 
toxic culture within the LGBT community. Here's another thing that I have observed. Alam mo, there is no problem with how you express yourself, how you dress yourself. Pero sana we dress appropriately. Kasi may mga pagkakataon na alam mo yung there's nothing wrong about being flamboyant, about mm-hmm. being expressive. It's okay, no problem with that at all. Pero na-experience ko kasi to once, I was still in Cebu, nag-attend kami ng church. Alam mo yung merong isang member na nasa church, nakakra tap luwang luwa yung ano lu- luwang luwa yung boobs sabi ko nga ang hirap ang hirap ng ipaglaban natin yung karapatan natin kung may mga member mismo na sila sila yung nagda-down mm-hmm. Na- nothing is wrong with expressing yourself with dressing confidently and comfortably pero at least know where you are heading to respect respect the event that you will be attending to Kumbaga, let's say for example, namatayan, pupunta ka ba doon na naka-see-through, na naka-red? Just a little respect naman lang sana. Hindi ko naman sinasabing sa, sa lahat ito ng members ha. Pero may mga tao kasing ganyan. Kaya ang hirap na ipagsiksikan or ipaglaban, ang gusto nating ipaglaban, kung may mga taong mismong sila yung nagiging dahilan <laughs> ng disrespect, di ba? Sa same community Sa same nagagali. community. Kaya minsan nakakalungkot. Sana kasi alam natin yung ipinaglalaban natin. Yes. At saka alam din natin kung paano tayo lumugar. <laughs> saka kung hindi nyo <laughs> kami kaya mo. Kung hindi nyo natatawa. <laughs> natatawa kasi ako may as in. Alam mo yung, yung suot niya, crop top. Mm. Ano? Sequence pa yun, mi. Sequence <laughs> tapos luwang luwa. Luwang luwa yung... Uh, Ay, pero hindi naman ako ito, di ba? Ah, hindi kami. Sa Cebu to. Sa Cebu. <laughs> Tapos, alam mo yung... Clear ko lang po ha. Kasi <laughs> baka... Kasi nga hindi na ako kumikubo dito, di ba? Baka asabihin nila. <laughs> hindi, ako. hindi pa. Hindi, oh, hindi pa ito si Christy. ako last Sunday, pero nak-t-shirt naman. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yes, ganyan. Ganyan. Everything. It's okay. If you wanna dress up na pang party, go. Pero alamin mo naman yung event na pupuntahan mm, mo, babe. Just ko, it's a holy place. Diba? Parang ganun lang. Just be appropriate. Just be just be uh, respectful of the place that you will be attending. And at the same time, ganun you lang. will also get the attention of other people. Instead na magsamba doon sa... Di <laughs> lahat ng tao <laughs> nakatingin sa kanya. Na. Promise. Na Tapos alam mo yung... N- naaawan na din ako kasi alam ko na yung iniisip ng ibang tao na mm. dinadiscriminate na siya, binabastas na siya. Kasi naman din, very inappropriate yung suot niya. Yeah. Sa... Si Bahan, mm-hmm. di ba? Ang ending, pag na, napansin na kaya may magpupost pa sa IG na oh, nagrarar pa sa FB na hindi niya ako nire-respect. Oh, kaya sinasabi, I'm just, I'm just being comfortable with my own skin. Mm-hmm. Okay lang yung maging comfortable ka with your own skin. Ilugar, pero ilugar. Uh, ilugar mo yung sarili mo, please lang. Dami magre-react dito sa topic natin. Feeling ko no? din. And oh. if you want to react naman dito, no, don't forget pwede niyong gamitin ang hashtag queerfully yours so you can share your opinion <laughs> sa ating mga social media platform, Twitter, Facebook, kahit saan pa Telegram. Yan, we would really want to hear from you. Mm-hmm. Kasi naman, syempre, no, talaga namang nangyayari ito sa ating community. It is happening. Yes. Mm. Kaya nga, mas madami po kaming straight friends. <laughs> Kaya nga, mas straight friends. Pero ba nang issue? <laughs> bakla na kami Uh-oh. gumising. Pag, mm-hmm. pag labas namin, bakla din. <laughs> Ayaw nga. Kaya yun lang. Pero yeah, I agree. This is Uh, feeling ko talaga marami ang magre-react marami sa topic na ito. Just, ay, gusto ko lang sabihin na hindi tayo perfect. Uh-huh. This is our very own experiences. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. we just want to share what mm-hmm. we believe in. Yes. Mm-hmm. Again, at the end of the day, kung iboboil down mo lahat, ayun uh, naman yung boil down. Na naman. <laughs> iboboil down. We're just, you know, respect. Mm-hmm. Just respect each other regardless of how you identify yourself, regardless mm-hmm. if you're straight. Just, you know, respect. Tapos di ba every time we end our episode we always um give messages to our viewers. This time naman ano yung masasabi mo sa mga ka LGBT sa mga members ng community? Uh, I'll go first. Asa ah, go. Um ano respect is very important. Kaya parang it's ing nga sabi nga ni Warren kanina no it's not something that we impose something that we earn. And if you want to be respected, you have to earn that respect. Whatever your orientation is, whatever your preference is, it doesn't matter. It's not just for the LGBT, but for everyone else. Yung respeto talaga is very important. Um, ayun, I think, in for me, respect Correct. is ano. Ikaw, Mia. 
same lang naman din actually yung I respect talaga if you really wanted to be respected by other people you need to be also show it parang ganun I, mm. words action than words di ba so it's not just uh, asking ano? them <laughs> ay tama ba <laughs> ano, ano words, words actions action. words Balik action that words okay edit po actions <laughs> action speaks louder than words ba, na iba na charot lang <laughs> <laughs> Inde, kapun lang, kapun lang. Actions, speaks louder than words. Yun yung gusto ko sabihin actually, guys. Yung um parang parati natin sinasabi na respect me, accept me, don't discriminate me. Pero yung ginagawa natin hindi naman ka respect right? And mm-hmm. then um uh, wanted also to ano, yung parang sa transgender, right? And then sa so mga mm-hmm. trans sisters ko din diyan, don't rush everything. Kasi nga minsan yung iba, parang nape-pressure na din sa ano eh, sa community and also sa ibang mga trans. Like, mm-hmm. um, gawin mo to, ito yung itake mo, inject ka lahat, it, inumin mo para gumanda ka at maging fresh. Uh-huh. Hindi nila alam yung consequences if they will, ano, parang, i-rush nila, oh, i-rush nila lahat. Kasi, it takes for me, time. ano talaga, yung show, slowly but surely, parang ganun yung mm-hmm. peg ko. Yung, Iba kasi, umaabot sa point na nagkaka-kidney failure na hindi nila alam na <laughs> ano, may complications pala. Mas if, importante yung health oh, oh, kaysa ano, sa kagandahan. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> mi, aminin natin. So And ayun na nga yung ano ko eh, parang worry ko din sa ibang transistors ngayon. Kasi, lalo na sa mga, ano ha, mga nasa millennial. Mm-hmm. Kasi, napipressure talaga sila. And then, nag, nagtitake sila ng hormonal pills or injections without any consultation ng mga Doctors. Nagsa self-medicate oh, sila. Self-medicate. Okay mm-hmm. lang, hindi mo self-medication. Pero eh, i-observe mo muna yung katawan mo if kaya talaga. Mm-hmm. And then, meron mga mga ibang transistors natin na pag nagtitake ng pills, isang linya ng pad. Hala. Like, mga six tablets or seven tablets. What is that? Na isang take. Oo. So, isang inuman. Parang na-overdose sila. So, ang okay. nagiging dating or nagiging uh, result niya is nagiging groggy or parang mm-hmm. parang tanga. Parang ganun yung peg nila. Ang daming so, side effects. Oh, kasi nga, mm-hmm. yun yung sinasabi daw na ibang kabaklaan. Eh, hindi hindi naman ganun lahat talaga yung effect din sa katawan, di ba? Iba-iba yung magiging uh, resulta sa atin. Tsaka I think it's really best for you to consult from the professionals. Correct. Mm-hmm. So, hindi natin dapat i-pressure din yung mga kas, ka, kano natin? Ka-sisters and ka-brothers uh, when it comes to transition. Let them blossom in their own timeline. Correct. Then, again, <laughs> yun pa rin yung parang, ano yun, yung parang bottom line. Mm-hmm. Respect. Mm-hmm. Ikaw, oh. me. Uh, my message is mas masakit po pag ang discrimination comes from the people who you thought na understand ka. Diba? Kasi that's the topic eh. The topic is really about uh, the toxic culture within the LGBT community. Tayo-tayo na to. Sana mas naiintindihan nyo yung kapwa nyo. Kasi yung sa mga straight minsan, okay lang yan. Parang hindi kasi nila naintindihan kung saan tayo nang galing. Kasi nga hindi nila tayo katulad or hindi uh, hindi tayo katulad nila. Pero pag yung discrimination is coming from someone who's supposed to be the one who's lifting you up. Mm-mm. Mas nagiging mas mabigat siya. Kasi nga LGBT o oh, tayo na to. Sana lang um Just because you have your own idea or you have your own gender expression or gen- yeah, gen- just because you have your own gender expression at saka dahil ma- magkaiba tayo ng gender expression, dinadaw na natin yung isa't isa. Hindi po to race. Hindi po ito uh, hindi po ito palakasan or hindi po ito pagandahan. Hindi ito palakihan ng katawan. Hindi ito palambutan. Iba't iba po tayo ng gender expression. Sana we have each other's back. True. Yeah. May share ko lang, sobrang importante nung sinabi mo. Kasi nung time na hindi pa prevalent yung HIV awareness dito sa Philippines, um, hirap na hirap magsalita yung mga taong na-infect or nagkaroon kasi mm-hmm. nauunahan ng discrimination. discrimination saying na parang, ang landi mo kasi. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So coming from the LGBT community Mm-mm. mismo, instead na dapat sa atin manggaling na parang... So, the education mm-hmm. about it, the awareness na parang mm-hmm. ano yung mga symptoms, ganyan. Dapat mm-hmm. sa atin nagsisimula yun. So let's mm-hmm. stop that yung, yung stigma. Yung stigma agad kasi it's very important. Kasi buhay yun. Mm-hmm. 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 Let's support each other. Yes. If we can't get the support from the streets, at least support our brothers and sisters mm-hmm. in the community. Yeah. Yes. And um guys, my last message. We have faced 
so much discrimination and sana wag na dumagdag yung within the community. Uh-huh. Okay na, support each other just like what Charlie said. Let's just support each other whatever they try to believe in so long as you're not negatively affected. That's fine. And again, pag meron kayong mga um, suggestions or reactions, what do you guys think about these topics that we're talking about? What do you think are the other topics that we can talk about? Please feel free to post on your social medias with a hashtag Queerfully, Queerfully yours. yours. Again, my name is Paka. I'm Steven. And Miss Deliciousness. My name is Chardy. And we believe in the saying, well, that be bold. Be proud. Be you. Queerfully, Queerfully yours. yours.